This is a 30 minutes capoeira workout for balance for all kinds of athletes. Let's start simply by standing on one leg for 30 seconds. If this is easy for you, you can close your eyes and I'll tell you when to open them again. We're going to have different, kind, different kinds of drills. Some will be trying to balance in motion and some will be trying to keep balance static. I'm Tom, I've been training capoeira for about 20 years now. And let's switch legs. So as I said, I've been training capoeira for about 20 years in Israel and I've been teaching capoeira for the last 14 years. And this uh, workout today is going to <clears throat> involve some of capoeira drills that anyone can learn and others that uh, has nothing to do with capoeira such as standing on one leg. From time to time I look at my notebook where I wrote all the exercises because it's a little bit hard to remember them all. Ten more seconds. Also I have the watch over there, that's why I'm looking down from time to time. Three, two, one. Okay, now go down low with your heels up in the air. You can have your hands wide open if it helps you. And let's stay in this position for 30 seconds with our knees off the floor. Again, if this is easy for you, feel free to close your eyes. Concentrate on your breathing. Try to get into a meditation state. Relax your body. If this hurts your knee, feel free to stand up and shake your legs. Three, two, one. Stand up. Shake your legs. Okay, now we're going to stand on one leg again. And I want you to move your leg freely. Let's start. You can go front to back or side to side, challenging your, your balance a little bit. Or you can go in circles. Use your hands to find the balance. And play. It's just like a game. Challenge yourself and stretch your limits. Five more seconds. You can feel your leg which is on the floor, it's starting to burn, to hurt a little bit. Switch legs and go back, front, side over the front, over to the back, circles, eight figure. Five more seconds. You can even go faster. Okay, nice. Our next drill is going to be what we call over here a chicken, a chicken stance. You go down low, you bring your elbows under your knees in both sides, sides and you create a 90 degrees angle in your elbow. If possible, bring your weight forwards until your toes leave the ground. If not, just stay over here. Each one to his own abilities. <sighs> Breathe in, out. Okay, now we're going to try and balance on our head. We're going to have our head on the ground and then we're going to switch our legs 
as slowly as possible, so we'll train our handstand, our headstand. From here, bring one leg up, and then switch, switch again. If this hurts, feel free to use a pillow or anything, or a mattress under your head. Let's go for 10 switches. Nice. Okay, stand up, shake your arms and your neck. Next up is a side plank. We're gonna go on our elbow, on our arm, sideways. If this is easy for you, you can challenge yourself by bringing your hand inside underneath your armpit, looking backwards and then up again let's go 10 9 keep going together with me let me tell you also about my new online Capoeira for Beginners course, where I teach the 16 basic moves, basic moves in different categories, kicks, dodges, acrobatics, and frontal kicks. Switch sides. Go. So you can check out the link in the description box below for the Capoeira Beginners course. If you've never tried Capoeira or you don't have any Capoeira classes near you, it's a very comfortable and actually a cheap way to start training Capoeira. If you've already been training Capoeira for several years, I have another course called the Capoeira Angola Library. That's it. <clears throat> Our next drill is going to be Benso. Benso is a frontal kick where you bring your leg to 90 degrees and you hold your body in that position. It's going to be a little bit hard on uh, the quads. Okay, let's try and see how much can we hold without having too much pain. So, with one leg to the back, I'm going to kick to this posi position and try to hold it as much as possible. Okay, let's go. Nice. Switching legs. Go. So the Capoeira Angola Library contains the 30 most important technique for the Capoeira Angola game as I teach it. It's very rich in content and you can find it again in the description box. Down below it will teach you how to master the Capoeira Angola game. Nice, now let's do the same to the back. Switching legs again, we're going to go 
into horizontal. I'm going to get into a horizontal position and try to keep our balance. Take a deep breath and go. Imagine as if you're laying on top of the air. If you want to start capoeira or you want to improve mm. your skills, everyday training is very important. So check out my 15 minutes daily capoeira workout for all levels. You can get it for free now. Link in the description box down below. Beautiful, go back. Switch legs. Breathe in. Breathe out and go. If you're enjoying this training so far, I would love it if you can hit the like button. That way this video will get to more people and more people can enjoy up well. My goal is spreading the word about capoeira and helping people to start and develop themselves in the capoeira journey. Nice. Shake your legs. Now, the capoeira basic stance, the basic stance in capoeira called jinga, with one leg to the front, turned a little bit outside, and the other leg on your toes pointing forwards. Now I want you to use, um, I'm going to use my right hand since my right leg is on the front. So I'm going to touch my right hand to the floor, just the tips of my toes, then come back again, and then to the back leg. Try to touch your toes. Touch your heel from inside. This drill is a little bit easier, I think. And touch your big toe. Heel. And to the leg, the back leg. Switch legs. Go for the inside and then to the back. Actually, you can go touching anywhere you'd like where you find uh, challenging. You can go sideways or the other side. Far to the front, as far as you can, or to the back. Okay, shake it out. Nice. Now we're going to do as we did in the headstand, switching our legs. We're going to do the same using head handstand. So. If you're not familiar with handstand, you start with both of your palms on the ground and then you switch your legs kicking up. If you have more experience using handstand, so feel free to train your handstand while switching your legs, trying to stay balanced as long as possible. Go.
כמו שעשינו על הראש, פשוט להחליף רגליים. Three more times. Okay, nice. Go into a wide stance and bend your knee as you straighten the other one, the other leg, and keep going down. Let your feet go up the floor and go up. This movement we call scala, like a scale. Okay, let's continue. Sorry for the interruption. We're going to go down, breathing out, and then inhaling. Breathing and balance has a lot to do with each other. Also, breathing is also movement inside our body, our lungs. Four more. Last one. Okay, stay low. Stay seated. In the butterfly position, let's stretch for a second. We're going to rest. <sighs> Straighten your back and bring your forehead to your legs. By the way, I just got these new shoes a couple of days ago. I really like them. They're Vivo Barefoot. If you're interested, I'm going to leave a link in the description as well. You can check them out. Our next drill is going to be similar to what we've done before. From here, we're going to straighten one leg and we're going to try to keep balance using only one leg. Let's go. If this is easy for you, you can try lifting your leg off the floor. but be conscious not hurting your knee because this brings a lot of weight and pressure to your knee. <sighs> Switch legs. Go. Keep your breathing slow and steady. While we're training our body, we want to develop consciousness, uh, awareness to, to our breathing. Okay, sit down, shake your legs. Go up, straighten your back, and stretch forwards, fold forwards. And again, go up, straighten your hands and your back. Take a, bre take a deep breath, and go down, fold forwards. Okay, nice. Now just watch me. You can stay seated. Watch me as I train, uh, as I uh, perform this kick called Mi Alwaji Compasso. We're going to step. I'm almost turning my back to you. Putting both of my hands on the ground. 
bringing my lap my leg up in the air and from here I want you to bring your hands off the floor and I'm going to try and balance this position okay so kicking mielo de compasso stopping in the middle and then lifting our hands off the floor so step forwards place both of your hands on the ground bring your leg up in the air and slowly try lifting your hands off the floor for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. Now again to the other side. If this is hard for you, you can use your fingers to stay balanced. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, great. Now let's try this kick called Mialogi French from a wide stance called Paralela in Capoeira. We're going to kick a circular kick going back to where we started. So it's, it's looks, it looks like this. I'm kicking, creating a circle and bringing the leg back to where we started. Okay, let's go. I'm going to start with my right leg. You're going to start probably with your left leg. Over there. One. Go slowly. Try using your hands to balance. Two. Three. Four. Five. Start with shifting your weight from one leg to the other. Shift your weight from side to side and go. Three more. Last one. Great. Now we're going to do the opposite. Instead of Uh, drawing the circle from outside, inside, we're gonna go from inside, outside. Okay, watch me once, I'm shifting my weight, and then I bring my leg low into 90 degrees and sideways. Try, when, fi when you finish the move, try bringing your leg first with your toes and only then with your whole feet instead of falling to your whole feet. Okay, let's go to that side. Now. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Nice. Seven. Keep going. Eight. Nine. Last one. Great, now to wrap this all up, we're going to have a really nice sequence where we put uh, most of the stuff we did today into one long sequence. Um, before we get to it, I want to tell you about a movement called Audi French. I'm going to show it to you. And 
when we finish this last sequence, I'm going to leave uh, the, the video with where you can learn it on the screen. So this movement is very important because if you get it down, you'll, get, you'll be able to get another, a lot of other acrobatic capoeira movements. Watch me once and then we're going to go into the sequence. It's, it's a cartwheel where you finish with a quarter of a turn and you finish to the front. Okay, so we're going to use everything in one sequence. Not everything, but many of what we did. Just watch. We're going to go one, two, handstand, switch legs. I'm going to turn so you can see me better. Bring your head to the ground. Switch legs. Come up into this position with your heels off the ground. Straighten one leg. And then step, kick. Bring your hands off the ground and we can go again okay it's kind it's it's a, an, an endless sequence let's start with our left leg to the back kick to the front and hold kick to the back and hold bring your hands to the ground and switch, bring your head to the ground and switch, keep your heels off the ground and hold. Now using the leg which is closer to the screen, in my case to the camera, straighten the leg. You can use your hands to straighten your leg and then step and kick. Bring your hands off the ground, hold, and then kick to the front. Kick to the back. Hands on the ground, switch legs, head to the ground, switch legs. Straight in one leg, hold. Step and kick. Lift your hands off the ground, hold. And then kick to the front. To the back. <coughs> Place your hands on the ground, switch legs, place your head on the ground, switch legs, get into seated position, hold, breathe, straighten one leg, hold, place your hands sideways, step and kick, hold, and now try going using only your memory without, without me instructing. It's okay if you get it wrong, just be aware of your breathing. So guys, check out the video I was telling you about. Audi French. A sh
Nice.